This time on Mess Monsters, Magic Salt Painting. Hi everybody, it's Lori from the Art Studio at Madison Children's Museum. Today for Mess Monsters, we're going to be doing this really cool magic salt painting that makes these beautiful raised lines on your paper. The things that you're going to need are some stiff paper. I used a piece of an old file folder or you could use cardboard or cardstock. You'll need some school glue or any type of white or clear craft glue. You'll need some salt, regular table salt. And then we're also gonna be using watercolor, but you could use liquid watercolor or even food coloring work really well for this project. This is an art project that takes two steps. The first step you do one day and the next step you do the next day, but it's totally worth it. So we're gonna start by making these raised lines on our paper using our school glue and our salt. This is the part that needs to be done the day before. You can either draw with your glue on the paper directly, or you can draw lines with a pencil and follow them. This is a step that young friends can do all on their own, or adults or older children could do this step for younger children. I'm gonna make nice thick beads of glue on my page using my bottle of glue. I'm gonna start mine by making some just swirly abstract lines. You can draw pictures, you can write words. I'm gonna do a nice spiral here and you can see I'm really squeezing my glue out to make these raised lines. That's what makes our project look really interesting when we're done. Now I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to draw myself some lines that I'll follow. So I'm going to do a leaf with veins. And after I draw my lines, I'll take my glue and I will follow along my pencil lines. And this is a project that you could do with younger friends. If they wanted to draw a picture with a pencil, then an adult or an older child could do the glue lines for them if that part is a little bit difficult. And after I finish my glue lines, that's the time where I will need to get out my table salt and I'll explain what we're gonna be doing next. So on my wet glue, I'm going to shake some table salt. It's gonna be like you're putting the dreaded glitter on your project. However, this is water soluble glitter. I'm gonna put a nice thick coat of table salt. You may wanna do this in a tray which I really should have done, but I didn't, so that it can contain the mess a little bit. I'm gonna shake your salt around, make sure those lines are really well covered. And then I'm going to deposit my salt over here, get it out of the way. Now look how that made these beautiful three-dimensional salty lines. So you'll need to put this aside and let it completely dry. And I would say overnight, if it's a sunny day, you could also put it out in the sun and maybe it would dry a bit faster, but you need your lines to be completely dry before you add the watercolor. So here's the one that I did yesterday. You can see my raised bumpy salt lines here. You can feel how thick they are. Now I'm gonna get my watercolors out and I'm gonna get ready to paint. And there's some really cool effects that happen when you add the wet watercolor to your salt lines. I'm gonna make some watercolor with my watercolor set here and make it pretty watery. I'm gonna add a lot of water to make a watery mix here. Now I'm gonna touch the edge of my salt here and look how the 
color starts going on to the salt. Now I'm gonna take a bit more water, just plain water, and I'm gonna drop it on top, and look how the traveling color goes along your lines. And now that I've got that wet part, I'm gonna try a different blue. I'm just gonna touch it and see how it keeps moving along. I'm gonna touch it again. Now let's blend our colors. Let's see what we can add to make a rainbow pattern. I'm gonna make some green, and then I'm gonna put my green next to where it'll blend with my teal blue there, and I'm gonna add a little more plain water, drop it on, and see, watch it go. And you can have a lot of fun blending your colors and see touching it and watching it go. You can experiment with colors that mix really well. Like here I have my yellow next to my green and let's make a nice yellow green when I add on some water. There my yellow and my green are blending. I'm gonna blend my yellow into some orange. Now I just touched that with a little bit of water I'm going to touch some orange, so let's see what happens. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Younger children really, really love seeing this moving color going along these salt lines. And it's a great bit of fine motor skill practice because we're going to need to be really careful to just put our paint on the salt lines and not on the background of our paper. That's what's going to make a really nice strong line as if we keep our brush just on the salt. You can see I'm using a very small brush. And one thing that is really cool about this art project is that these lines, when they dry, are going to stay three-dimensional like this. They're going to stay raised. So it gives your artwork a lot of beautiful texture. And then when you're done painting your salt lines, if you want to, you can go and add more colors to the background. Let me get back to the one that I started earlier. This is what your painting is gonna look like when it dries. See the salt lines are still raised and still textured, but now they have this beautiful rainbow color. Did you enjoy doing this project this week? If you did and you take a picture of it, can you post it in the comments so that we can all see? I'd love to see what all my artist friends have made. I'll see you next week for another episode of Mess Monsters.